Leah Remini claims she was held at a Scientology facility for four months after Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes' wedding and six more lawsuit bombshells. A lawsuit filed by Leah Remini on Wednesday against the Church of Scientology contains a number of disturbing allegations against the organization, its practices, and its high-ranking members. Along with claims, Remini's been stalked, surveilled, harassed, threatened, intimidated, and is the victim of intentional, malicious, and fraudulent rumors on the internet, the 60-page document with multiple mentions of Tom Cruise states. Hi, Dios mio. Uh, where was I? Tom Cruise, as the actress says, her life as a Scientologist changed after his 2006 wedding to Katie Holmes. Remini, who also labels Cruise as essentially second in command in the church, is also suing leader David Miscovich. The Church of Scientology responded to Remini's lawsuit in a statement to Yahoo Entertainment Thursday, calling it ludicrous and frivolous, characterizing her allegations as pure lunacy. Scientology is not intimidated by Remini's latest act of blatant harassment, an attempt to prevent truthful free speech, the statement said. Here are the seven biggest bombshells from Remini's lawsuit. Number one, Remini filed an international report after Tomcat's wedding, and it's a high crime to criticize the actor in any way. Remini believes her status within the church changed after Cruz's 2006 wedding to Katie Holmes. In the lawsuit, the actress refers to the Top Gun Maverick star as Miskovich, Miskovich, my bad, Miskovich, Miskovich's best friend, who is essentially second in command in Scientology. It is a high crime in Scientology to criticize Tom in any way, the five file claims, known, noting that in 2004, Miskovich supposedly told an audience of Scientologists at a gala in England that Cruz was the most dedicated Scientologist I know. The event was billed as the wedding of the century, so Remini said she was surprised when Miskovich's wife, Michelle, also known as Shelley Miskovich, was nowhere to be found. Shelley's job was to constantly record everything David said so that a team of secretaries could later transcribe his words in order for dissemination throughout Scientology. When Miss Remini asked the group of Scientology executives and Tom Cruise's personal handlers, where is Shelley, she was immediately admonished by the group, despite the fact that she and Miss Miskovich were good friends, the lawsuit claims. Miss Remini witnessed other behavior at the wedding that set off red flags for her, including unethical contacts between various Scientology executives and others at the wedding, which she understood to be forbidden by Scientology teachers, per the document. Remini shared her concerns in a written knowledge report, and it was submitted within the church. Miss Remini has been brainwashed into believing that by filing reports like this, she was helping Scientology and saving her religion, and that apparently did not go well. Number two, Remini claims she was punished and held at a Scientology facility for four months after Tomcat's wedding. After Italy, Remini alleges she was ordered to go to Clearwater, Florida to the Flagland Base Building, known as FLAG, which is considered the spiritual headquarters of Scientology. The actress claims she was forced to undergo a quick ethics cycle, which is a decades-long Scientologist which, as a decades-long Scientologist, was one of her life's worst nightmares. Upon arrival, Miss Remini was presented with dozens of international reports from Scientologists complaining about her behavior at the wedding. It was clear to Miss Remini that she was being punished for asking where Shelley Miskovich was and for filing reports on David Miskovich and others. 
Miss Remney was held at flag for four months while she was put through a process that cost her hundreds of thousands of dollars and nearly led her to have a psychotic breakdown, the lawsuit alleges. After months of psychological torture, Miss Remney was near the point of psychotic break. She finally gave in, rescinded all of her reports, and admitted that she was the problem in the situation. Despite it not being true, it continues. Remini ultimately left Flag and returned to L.A. where she was forced to lie to her colleagues, friends, and family about what happened while she was in Florida. Number three, in order to make amends to Cruz, Remini claims she donated money to Scientology causes. Remini alleges she had to make peace with David and Cruz. For example, she was forced to donate money to name a seat in a theater after Surrey Cruz and was in and was to raise money for donation to Scientology causes led by Tom Cruise, the lawsuit reads. The estimated the actress estimated that during her more than 35 years as a Scientologist, she spent around five million dollars. Number four. Remini alleges she was reprimanded for looking up rumors about Scientology online. Scientology's international base Golden Era Productions in Riverside County, California, was accused of horrific abuse in 2009. Remini endured another six months of punishment for looking on the internet and asking questions about the, use, the abuse, the lawsuit alleges. After her alleged punishment, Remini resigned from Scientology in 2013 and filed a missing persons report on Shelley, who has not been seen in public for 17 years. Number five, CNN was allegedly harassed by members of the church and ultimately didn't run an interview for, with Remini. In 2015, Remini says she was supposed to promote her book, Troublemaker, on Anderson Cooper's show, but the interview didn't make it to air. Due to Scientology's history of aggressive litigation, litigation ah, shit litigiousness litigiousness okay there goes my reading sorry about that you guys the interview was pre-taped so that it could be vetted by cnn's legal department before the interview began mr cooper warned miss remini that their interview may might not air mr cooper told miss remini that when he aired a five-part series on physical abuse being perpetrated by David Miscavige, he and the producers faced so many attacks that they might not be willing to face a new storm of harassment, the lawsuit claims. Since Cooper's series aired in 2010, he has never broadcasted another story about Scientology. To this day, defendants continue maintain attack websites against Mr. Cooper and his producers. CNN declined to comment when contacted by Yahoo. Number six, Conan O'Brien purportedly stunned by Scientology tactics. In 2017, the actress appeared on Conan to promote her Emmy-winning A&E docuseries, Lee Remini, Scientology in the Aftermath. She claims the defendants were continuing their campaign to harass and discredit her, so O'Brien was sent a personal letter criticizing Ms. Remini and claiming that Remini was only speaking out against Scientology for the fame, money, and attention. Mr. O'Brien commented that he had never before received a letter of this character in his 24 years as host of a late-night talk show, the document claims. Yahoo reached out for a rep for O'Brien, but did not immediately receive a response. And number seven, Ramini alleges she was stalked by a mentally ill man who wanted to break into her home. The actress claimed she'd been stalked, surveilled, and harassed for years, and still is. She details a disturbing incident from 2020 in which she claims a man with a history of mental illness and a violent criminal record was often parked outside her, own, her home. 
Upon information and belief provided by former top Scientology operatives, defendants armed the this defendants armed this man with a vehicle and money to stalk and surveil Miss Ramini. After the course of several weeks. At defendant's behest, the man r- <clears throat> rammed his car into the security gate of Miss Ramini's community and asked residents for Miss Ramini's address, saying he was waiting to get into her house, falsely claiming he had been there several times before and that he needed to get a bigger ladder in order to reach her bedroom window, the lawsuit reads. He was eventually arrested and then released, at which point he called the police, alleging that Ms. Rumini was holding ho- was being held hostage at her home. After police respond to Ms. Rumini's house, he was again arrested. Rumini alleges Scientology operatives typically seek out individuals with mental illness or who are homeless or addicted to drugs and other vulnerable people in order to harass the, their enemies. As recently as 2023, an unidentified male was recorded on video surveillance arriving at Ms. Rumini's gate, com- gated community in a vehicle armed with a hammer, the documents added. This unidentified man drove Miss Ramini's resi- drove to Miss Ramini's residence and smashed her mailbox, which she has to keep locked to legal had to keep locked to illegally seize Miss Ramini's personal mail. Police responding to Miss Ramini's call surmised that he had been sent by Scientology, and upon information and belief, he was sent by defendants. Interesting article. Why I kept going from Remini to Ramini, I don't know. So I apologize for saying her her name wrong and then right and then wrong and then right. Kind of like this article. It's really wrong, but uh, I guess it's right. Anyway, <laughs> welcome to the apocalypse. Take care. Peace. <laughs>